Hello everyone, Ryan here. So I was finally able to watch the latest trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi. That's right, The Last Jedi. Also known as Episode 8 in the Star Wars saga. And definitely looks awesome, very awesome. I like that Mark Hamill is returning as Luke Skywalker. Uh, the story itself also looks like it's going to take an interesting turn or twist. Maybe become a little more complex than in previous Star Wars movies. But I don't know, I could be completely wrong. It could be that that's just how the trailer was edited. You know, it could be that they, they put it together that way so that it does throw people off. Um, of course, I did like The Force Awakens, though I did feel like they could have done a little more with the story, but I was also aware of the fact that it was Disney's way of reintroducing the Star Wars franchise to a younger generation, to today's kids. And, of course, I do say Disney because, yes, Disney does own the Star Wars franchise now. They buy it off George Lucas a while ago. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I know George Lucas got billions for it. I forget the exact amount, but I know it was in the billions. Uh -huh. So, yeah. Kudos to you, George Lucas. <laughs> also, kudos to you for, you know, creating such an awesome uh, franchise. And, you know, wow. That's... <laughs> Um, so I mean, uh, I definitely look forward to watching The Last Jedi. From what I could tell, it, it looks like Luke Skywalker is very reluctant to train, um, uh, what's her name? Ray, yeah, Ray, <laughs> played by Daisy Ridley, I believe. I might, I might, I hope I don't have her name wrong, but. Uh, so he's reluctant to train her for whatever reason it looks like, you know, because she's discovering the force and all that, trying to figure out exactly, I guess, what it is, how to use it. And I don't know, I guess maybe Luke Skywalker feels like she has the potential to be extremely power, powerful, like you know, insanely powerful. Uh, I don't know. That's just my own interpretation uh, I also found it interesting that in another part of the trailer, it looks as if uh, Ray is <clears throat> befriending Kylo Ren, or I don't know, maybe at the very least she's like making some kind of compromise with him or something. But I don't know, I could be wrong about that too. It, it's... At this point, you know, everything is still, <clears throat> everything is still completely open to interpretation. And, uh, you know, it, it could be that, you know, this trailer is just, it's just put together just to satisfy people and at the same time, not really reveal, not really reveal much of anything other than, other than some cool CGI sequences, action sequences. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, <clears throat> I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this. It's, I believe it's coming out in theaters December 15th. Uh, tickets are already on sale. Uh, looks awesome to me. Definitely looks awesome. I've always considered myself to be a big Star Wars fan. Uh, of course I liked the original movies. The first one that came out in the 70s, and even though I wasn't alive in the 70s, but <laughs> I did see it when I was like, I don't know, probably eight or nine or something, seven or eight. I also liked The Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi. I even liked the prequels. Uh, not as much as the other movies, but they're still all right. <laughs> I know there's a lot of diehard Star Wars fans out there, I guess who consider themselves purists, quote-unquote purists in some way. Uh, uh, 
me, I don't know. I'm just like, when it comes to these kinds of movies, I'm just all about going to the theater, watching them, having a good time. Maybe talking about them a little bit afterwards and, you know, just moving on, continuing with life and... <laughs> Yeah, just, I mean, that's what these movies are about, you know, movies are a great form of escapism, as with other things too, books, video games, and so, yeah, I don't know what else to say, it's, it's, let me know if you're also looking forward to watching The Last Jedi, uh, and that, that, that'll do it for this trailer review thing, I guess, <laughs> Thanks for watching. As always, till next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace. Hello.